Uh, today I'll be deriving the formula for the period of a harmonic series or harmonic system where there's a block and it's rot oscillating from left to right, left to right. And um, first off, we start with this formula, that force equal kx, which equals negative ma. Uh, why is an a negative? Well, if x is to the right, then acceleration would be pointing to the opposite direction. Likewise, if x is to the left, if the position is to the left, then a would be accelerating in the opposite direction. Opposite direction means negative sign, okay? Now, a can also equal, let me, okay. A can also equal the double derivative of x. Can also equal this. So uh, let's substitute a for that. So we get that kx equal negative m d squared x over dt squared. And uh, let's do some rearranging. We get kx negative m equal d squared x over dt squared. Now I ask you this question. What type of function has its, you know, original function equal to its double derivative, but just with a constant attached to it? What type of functions can, you know, have this property? Where basically, yeah, this property. Well, I'm just going to tell you right now, the only types of functions that can have these type of properties is um, eve x or cos theta or sine theta. I'm just gonna use um, cos theta here because sine theta and cos theta are pretty much the same, except that sine theta is like shifted to the right or to the left by a certain amount of radiance. But yeah, so we can use either cos theta or sine theta. I'm just gonna use cos theta for simplicity. Now, I can rule out e of x because um, let's say, what's the double derivative of vx? The double derivative of vx is a uh, first derivative is e of x second derivative is e of x. And we know it can't be e of x because it's negative. So this is positive and positive. So we, so we can't have this. But even if we have an e negative x, the first derivative would be e negative x, and the second derivative will be positive again. But uh, what we specified here was that the double derivative equals the negative of its original function. So if this is the original function and this is the double derivative, and they have both have positive signs, then this obviously cannot be what we're looking at here. So we can only, only cos theta works for this. Now, I'm just gonna tell you what x equals now, and then I'll explain why x must equal this. x equals cos root k over m times t. And here I'll show you why. Let's take a derivative of this. So it would be dx dt equals root km by chain rule, negative sine root km t, all right? And the double derivative would be negative km because root over root km times root km is just km cos root km t. Remember, I applied chain rule here. Okay, now let's see if these two functions match what we're seeing here. So um, let's see. So negative kx over m equals, and let's substitute x. So negative, we plug this in here. So equals negative k cos root k m t over m. And what does this equal? Well, this also equals this. It's an exact carbon copy. All right, I shouldn't have used that term. It's exact copy. So this equals d squared dt squared. And hence, this equals this, which is what we, what we originally said. This is what we assumed. So we know x must be this function here. All right. Now we know that function, that x is a function of cos. Now, how do we find the period? Here's where you need to think. Um, so the period would be some time t final minus t initial, all right? And t final minus t initial would be the time, or the this difference in time would be, you know, the, the time it takes for it to go through one rotation. So for this block to go here to here, that's one period, 
All right, so how, how do we write that in, uh, how do we express that mathematically? Well, an easy way to do it is just set um, tf equals 2 pi, or no, not, okay, no, no, no. Okay, let's say root k m t equal theta for a moment. Let's just say it's a theta. So then we can have theta equal to 2 pi and 0. Because 2 pi is a full period, and 0 is the start of that period. So we want this function to go through 0 and then to 2 pi. Hopefully, uh, let me try to explain that better. Okay, so if we plug, okay, let's take cos theta. If we plug 0 in this function, we get 1, right? If we plug in 2 pi in this function, we get 1 again. So that would be one full rotation. So it starts at 1 here, it goes here, becomes negative 1, and it goes back here at 1, and that's a full rotation, so from 0 to 2 pi. So that means somehow theta must equal 2 pi, and, um, and, and it also must equal 0. But theta also equals this function. So root k m t final must equal 2 pi, and root k m t initial must equal 0. Now, from here, we get that t initial equals 0. That's simple enough. And then we get that t final equals root m k 2 pi. Now, if t equals the period equals this minus this, then the period just equals 2 pi root m over k. And that's the derivation. Thank you. So I, I guess the, the hardest part to understand would be that the only function that matches this type of behavior is a cosine or a sine function. And the second hardest part to understand is um, what theta must be equal to. So um, yeah, I don't know how to explain those better. Okay. Thank you.